Holmes Mill has stood in the shadow of Clitheroe Castle for almost 200 years and has seen many changes. Maybe none as big as the changes taking place now. Originally it opened as a spinning mill, but it soon became a manufacturing complex to include spinning, weaving, printing, shirting, yarn doubling, warehousing and offices and in the early 1900s, Clitheroe Technical School. Most of the buildings, apart from the weaving shed, have been empty for many years. Bolton Brewery moved into the weaving shed, but was soon moved into its permanent home. A new entrance was made into Moon Lane to service the brewery, and the whole setup moved in. They brew a wide selection of beers, including speciality beers for special occasions. Wandering through this old mill is amazing. This is the base of the chimney, and the wall on the left is a smoke box which takes the smoke from the furnace to the chimney. What a transformation to make a lovely little snug or a meeting room for small parties. The old mill engine is still in situ, awaiting a big clean-up. The mill engine is a 250 horsepower cross-compound horizontal engine made by Clayton Goodfellows of Blackburn in 1910, and if they had steam, was still capable of running. The engine room and Elizabeth, as the engine is called, has retained all the original fittings, ropes and pulleys, etc. And including the original corkscrew decorations on the wall. Who would have thought you can dine beside a massive steam engine, cleaned up in all its glory? This is certainly a dining room with a difference. New Mill, or Holmes Mill, is a four-storey block. This is a winch in the attic that used to haul materials between the four floors. The attic and the third floor are now offices. Level 2 has been transformed from a big wide open space to the ideal venue for weddings, parties, etc. This is level 1 before it was transformed into the beer hall. It sports one of the longest bars in Britain. It's 105 feet 4 inches long. It has 42 hand pumps and 24 cast beers. You can even watch beer being made through the glass panels looking right into the brewery. Meanwhile, the scaffolding came down and the cafe opened in the boiler house and the ice cream shop opened with a big selection of ice creams and things seemed to settle down but not for long. The roof on the weaving shed came off and the old garage on Moor Lane flattened. The new roof became a joy for sightseers, changing every day. Small cranes, big cranes, a hive of activity, walls being knocked down, new walls being built. We didn't know what to expect. But finally, it all took shape. With a wavy roof, and huge glass panels fill in the frontage of this huge building. These huge panes of glass are lifted using five suction pads and a crane. Each one of these huge glass panels weighs several underweight. Inside the building was a huge cavern. This part of the mill will be the swimming pool and gym, while this half becomes the food hall. The food hall has a good range of foods, including a good range of locally produced items. The food hall has seen many changes. The cafe in the boiler house has now moved up into the food hall.
The outside of the building was now complete and attention was given to the car park. The gate post went up and then went down. And finally the car park entrance was complete. Meanwhile, work on the hotel started. The building, or spinning block as it is called, has been empty for many years and needed a lot of attention to the walls and roof before fitting out the interior. Thick walls and floors with plenty of insulation and soundproofing are essential in a hotel. For the benefit of guests, the Spinning Block Hotel offers 39 individually designed and decorated bedrooms. Two family rooms, two suites and the penthouse are available, while the remaining rooms are classic doubles, all with ensuite facilities. A new entrance and reception completes the hotel. This long window in the spinning block is evidence that this was once the engine room many years ago. The large sandstone blocks are the engine beds, now all built into the fabric of the hotel. The boarded up ground floor was next for makeover. New windows and floors were only the start. But eventually it all took shape and the new restaurant emerged. Two dogs guard the entrance to the restaurant. A little bit of tidying up. A skin clinic. A barber shop. Who knows what's coming next? Maybe it's a cinema.